Maybe going for a short boost. Yes, indeed. So Na'Vi seem to have a hard read as to what's going on, but it's not quite what they thought it was. And now here it comes from QB5. They need to close the distance towards jungle because they left it open deliberately. So can they do that? Flash is there. Simple's forced back. There's a double peak though, but Simple goes down immediately. And now they've got multiple guns towards Edward. No more Edward. Jumping into the CPR positions. Zeus will get one back. Down to the three on three. Looking very good here. They got the bomb down. It's up to Flamey though. So often a superstar needs himself some decent one-taps here to save Na'Vi in this situation. Look at the positions though for QB Fire. They are loving this spot right now, using the team play, using the angles. They shut it down. Round number one, the pistol, the must win goes to them. And now we're going to see a very exciting situation because Na'Vi will be fighting with a poor economy. That's the AWP out of the, the, the Simple's hands and the likes of the Na'Vi lads for quite some time as QBF get to dictate the pace moving forwards in this one. Towards the end of that round, you saw Quick with a really uh, big smile on his face. I think he can feel the crowd here. And it's just Friday. These people have abandoned their jobs. They've called in sick. They've uh, not answered their parole officers' phone calls, maybe. So there's a lot more people to come later on. Simple off to a good start in the middle area. Four-man peak and Quick's in trouble. He might lose his AK and the rest of his team have SMGs. This is a massive problem for QB Fire. Yeah, this is really scary. They've taken almost the entire map. So whatever you do, Na'Vi will know there's only one way out of the situation. And that is to shoot your way out. And Jimka's working on it. He's very weak and simple. Back at it again. Third kill on the board. What on earth is this? They talked about this guy. And again on the stage, it's nothing but amazing stuff out of him. Simple looking for the next players. They have such a good read, do Na'Vi. And it's because they have so much information. Oh, simple looking for that quad kill the scout Flamey Move. as well there to support and QB5 realize there's no going into A at this point really I like the simple's adjustment moving towards the triple position it is uh, almost like a semi off angle as uh, players move into the site looking towards CT can get a cheeky frag it's a five versus two. Smokes are down, but Simple is charging forward. Looking for some tags. Haven't made one just yet. Goes down after the 3k. Well, Flamey looking around the smoke. QB5 got to get the bomb down fast. No cover for CT though. Electronic with the AK-47. Boomich doing what he can, but he's in a lot of trouble. He's in the red and he's dead. Na'Vi have reset the situation. The classic mid-rush with the assist of Simple and that deadly scout causing so many problems. QB5, what's the response here? I mean, you would expect a, a force buy back as they want to try and attempt to reset their opponent's economy, but it should be, in, in some respects, easier on that T side to get some really strong rounds going. And again, any team worth their sort at this level should have you know, some level of preparation as to how you would play a force buy like this. And we see an AK on Valina. That could be really, really good here for them. Simple, flashed out there into mid, takes a shot from that scout. Maybe there's a chance here for QB Fire. They should have a good takeoff mid hit. Edward is still getting some info though. Scout collected by Waterfalls from a fallen teammate. Often see SK in a similar position around a smoke like that you see from Simple as well. Just keeping an eye on any potential boosts from uh, their opponents. Na'Vi in the driving seat for the time being. And they're ramming QB's fire. QB Fire's car off the bridge. So, Bumich, he's got one down, but he can't do any more damage than that, so it wasn't really much that QB5 got out of that round. And now comes a Glock round, so it's time for Na'Vi to build themselves some money. Na'Vi have three AK-47s, James, into round four. That is not a good sign. <laughs> that is not a good sign. You don't want to start your buy round with Simple and Flamey on the CT side with AK-47s, and presumably Electronic as well. That's not a good look. Yeah, it's been very, very tough to break this. Obviously the full eco as well, so a chance for Na'Vi to build even more economy. So QB fire after that pistol round victory, it's all been downhill from there. And they'll, they'll be in a position where they have absolutely, well, they have so much money to burn away from Na'Vi's perspective. They'll have so much in the stores that they'll be able to bring out these big buys. The AWPs will keep on coming. That is quite something to overcome, but we've seen them overcome very incredible odds already this tournament. So looks like it'll just be one flash to rule them all. Try to get that bomb down, get that extra bit of money into the next rounds. That's the only real objective they have here. Getting picks with Glocks is not very realistic and Flamey's in position to deny them. Very nice spectacle here from Flamey with that 4K off the AK-47, just warming up. 
It's a perfect round from Na'Vi. Once again, no plant from QB Fire. No one lost for Na'Vi. And this isn't a round where they need to buy up because of the previous proceedings. Zeus has a UMP. But he may choose to play close with that or may, may be aggressive. We'll have to wait and see. But the rest of them have got the rifles again. Still three AKs on Na'Vi, which almost evens things up. So these jewels, QB fire, better be on point. Because Na'Vi's points will be trained on their heads. Flamey, nine kills, one death already. I wonder if we'll see some of those double flashes to try to help them take mid and avoid any aggressions. QB fire, you can see that lots of nays here, lots of aggression from Na'Vi. They have a lot of bank to burn so they can take these risks. And Flamey, he's gotten himself too there. No trade, looking to escape middle here. Takes another battle, Waterfalls is happy for that though. An opportunity to get back in this one now is simple. It's the next problem to overcome here by Connector. He's got Edward for support as well, as Velina tries to dart through the smoke. Good flashbang there onto Connector. Velina has gotten a forward position, and they smoke ahead of him as well. This is really nice from QB5, but they still have so much left to do in this round. Bumich is moving through Biap, but as you can see, Zeus has gone deep already. Again, closing the distance with that UMP and getting early information for his team. The bomb's still top mid for the time being, and Waterfalls is taking damage in mid, but he's got to go and collect the bomb soon enough. But he has been lost in the middle position as well, so Bumich pretty much, I was going to say, has to win this duel. He turned away for a second, so it seems the mid round, the late round calling isn't really there for QB Fire in this round. And now Waterfalls has left at 15 HP, so uncertainty for QB Fire when they're struggling with these rounds. I think that was quite telling from the back and forth from apartments and death will be slow here for Waterfalls. 2 HP now and we await the inevitable. 4 AK-47s on the CT side. Yes, that is very, very scary. Their money is just completely out of control. And the problem about that is not necessarily that they can just have like crazy amounts of buys. It's kind of the, you know, the lead on question to that. It's the fact that with all that money, they can take crazy risks. Look at the aggression from Na'Vi so far. They're overwhelming QB fire. They haven't been able to really have any space to set up across the map to run any rounds because Na'Vi are just in their faces repeatedly. So back to the pistols once again for QB fire. After this round, presuming QB5 lose, they will be at maximum loss bonus, so they'll have the big buy coming in. Ooh, let's have a look at this wall of smoke then. Some gaps have been left. Let's see, Flamey choosing to fight, but he's blind. Boomich gets taken down. The bomb's still being carried by the T side. Can they get the bomb down for some bonus money? The CTs will take the bomb down in their own way. And now Quick is left. Only Flamey's been lost. Zeus so making sure that Quick is very, very dead. Plus some extra dead and some bonus dead as well. Dead as a lobster in a Boston restaurant. 5-1 Na'Vi. Yeah, it's definitely very, very tough for QB Fire so far, but they have the money to get the buy-in as well. I'm curious whether they'll pick up the AWP. Waterfalls does have 6.2k, so one would expect that, being the dedicated AWP, and that could be sort of the X factor that they need to deal with this aggression that Na'Vi are throwing at them on their buy rounds. And you can see that Na'Vi are just trying to put them in a breaking, put them to breaking point through their incredible pressure. So that is the first thing that QB5 have to deal with. So we'll see if it's something that will end up backfiring for Na'Vi, or if maybe Na'Vi will say, hang on, we're just going to play passive now and see how you deal with that. Every, the ball is so very much in Na'Vi's court at this point in time. And we have a tactical there from QB5 as they will get on the same page, perhaps calm their nerves somewhat and figure out the approach for this round. Well, let's see what QB have in mind. M the mid area is proving dangerous at all parts of the round, be it early, mid or late. So how do QB fire deal with that? Na'Vi seem to want to force them off. And if they can hold mid, then maybe that's what the T executes. But Simple gets taken down early and Zeus has taken a lot of damage. So we've got colossal problems for Na'Vi very early on. Rotations coming in and now Edward gets tagged as well. Very nice shot there from Waterfalls and indeed just Simple trying to make it very confusing, trying to go for a pick and they haven't seen that, that angle just yet from Na'Vi so that's massive that QB4 are able to defend that pick in middle or that pick attempt from Simple. He's off the, out the, well, out the uh, picture for now. Zeus also not in a great position with that low health situation that he's working with and QB5 for the first time in this match have a lot of space on the map to work with as Na'Vi have to play passive. Creeping towards the B apartments though, and it feels as though Na'Vi could be quite ready for this. This is curious though, because QB have got two people on A ramp, so 
you wonder if they're selling a solid fake, if someone's going to go in suicide, or if the bomb's going to perhaps rotate through the underpass, which might be dangerous because they've got no presence mid, no presence top mid, so that would be quite something. Boomich taken down, trying to jump over Sandwich, and that has pulled one player, Electronic, making his way towards the A site, but he stopped. He's going back towards B. Waterfall towards an A as well, but he's rotated. Has the fake worked out for them? Electronic spotted in the market position, can't find a kill. Three players versus three. Lots of players tagged. The double peak is perfect. And now we're down to the two on two. Edward looking at apartments, but there's nobody there. Waterfall's in the back. Edward will surely hear him, but he's fired a shot. They're both missing. They're whiffing. Who's going to land the shot first? Tagging. But Valina's been taken down in the meantime. There are 12 seconds. The round's been won by Na'Vi because the bomb's not planted. Flamey doesn't face any wins. Surely he doesn't face. Five seconds to find him. Waterfall's running. He's got his knife out. He should at least have his bloody pistol out that. I think he just wanted to die off the time. I don't, that was a weird situation because you either like save that orb or you try to die off the time. I think he was kind of conflicted either way. And very desperate situation, as you said. Edward at that short position, absolutely key for Na'Vi's defense there to hold that fake. And that's one question we have to ask as well. Is that fake a little bit too complicated? Is it a little bit too elaborate uh, from qb Far's perspective? But now that they've shown that they, they're willing this to go for fakes, that will also slow down Na'Vi's rotations, perhaps later on, if, that, if they read into it too much. So it could help them later on, potentially. Once yeah. again, the half buy is in. So you send the uh, B-bomb site alone for the time being. Edward deep and aggressive in the middle position. But uh, Valina's in the middle of mid, so he doesn't seem to be too afraid. Now the rush towards the B-bomb site. They managed to avoid the flashbang, but can they trade? Yes, they can. But Edward's around the window position. Only sees the heads, can't really land the fatal shot. Jumka gets taken down, more trades, but it's buying time for the CTs to rotate. Electronic gets his bell rung, and there he goes. Flamey now trying to finish things off. Waterfalls on low health, 30 HP. Flamey will avoid the flames and bring QB5 to their knees once again. Na'Vi charging through the first half of Mirage, 7-1. to one. Yeah, that defense looked a little bit sloppy there from Na'Vi side of things, but it doesn't really matter that it is just a scrap fest, a slug fest in the end. They have, again, such an unreal amount of money to play off of. And, wow, 17-3, and Flamey is having quite the game so far. It's only been nine rounds, or eight rounds, James. He's already got 17 kills and an assist. Let's not yeah. forget about that. Life is good if you are Flamey. The mid battles are, are quite interesting here. QB on the buy once again. Four people towards the A bomb site. It looks like it will be A with smokes. We have seen some variations. The bomb is dropped on the floor for a teammate to collect. Always got to be careful where that bomb hits the floor because it can give your plan away. Boomich taken down for free, moving out. Palace flamey in aggressive position. Goes down to the shadow area and you see the rotation. Almost three people towards the site already, but no one can stop flamey. He just will not be shot down. Simples there as well. Flamey wasn't enough. <laughs> Before you get to Flamey, maybe you have to go through Simple. That's not an exciting prospect for QB5. And now this is this is interesting because you have to wonder, you know, what is what, what's it like as far as you know the calling is going for QB5? Are they just too afraid of trying to play defaults, trying to take map control from Na'Vi because of their crazy aggressions, because of the prospect that Simple could be around any different corner at any different round with that AWP? I think they have to try to earn Na'Vi's respect. They've got to be able to crush middle uh, to move this map forwards and get off that one, just that singular round that they're on at the moment. Tactical timeout from QB Fire. How do we solve the mid position? How do we slow the rounds down? How do we stop losing players early? How do we stop Na'Vi from imposing their will? How do we turn off Flamey? <laughs> well, you know what they say, James, you fight fire with fire. And right now, Na'Vi are definitely winning that battle. Seems QB need napalm rather than fire then. They need something more powerful to deal with Flamey. And Simple's just, he's just chilling out. He's just by the fridge, seeing what's inside, seeing what's good. It's allowing Flamey to do his thing. And I think a good Flamey performance is more telling than a good Simple performance because Simple has been so consistent for Na'Vi. And again, Valina taken down very, very early. QB fire already facing a 4 versus 5. It is a pistol round though, so you won't get too excited about it. And uh, I don't even know at this point what goal you have as QB fire because the, the damage for the time being is almost inconsequential. Edward needs to look to his right hand side. Oh, awkward, very awkward, but he should be okay. He's got support coming in as well. Flamey will like, I'll have that. Two extra frags for me to add to my tally. It's already quite impressive, simple. He tagged out, oh my goodness, Boomish gets a nice eagle headshot, but that is just a small consolation kill 
for the likes of QB Fire, as now the score stands nine for Na'Vi to the one of QBF. Things looking very difficult, and this is the round. This is the round in which we can start to see an adjustment from QB Fire. It better be a good one, and I would still really, really like to see some solid mid takes and just them being able to shut down Na'Vi there, force Na'Vi into a passive positions, even going down four, four to four, be able to develop a split off of connected control or ladder room control, something of that ilk would they be good. They don't have control that. It's nine to one. <laughs> Na'Vi are in full control, my friend. Yes, they're on the buy once again. Forced into passive positions, even top mid, waiting for a push, fearing a push. Pop flashes from Redwood towards the B bomb site, but Jumka is passive as well. QB Fire, living afraid at the moment, trying to hide under the cupboard. He's waiting for aggression from Na'Vi, and now you see it. Apartment smoked off, Zeus moving forward, warning shots. QB Fire now, with two, three people, top mid. They feel it's safe to come out from the shadows. Well, maybe it's not for too long, Electronic peeks out, takes down the in-game leader. The trade's there though from Quick, very responsible, diligent stuff. And there's a smoke for Simple as well. What's the play for Simple here? Does he allow himself to be locked away? Well, they have two players. They can boost, and there it is. Edward over the top. Very nice. Very courteous of Simple to allow the boost onto Edward as Simple makes a rotation through the market. And it's the A attack, but it's very telegraphed at this point. The bomb is not collected. This is very interesting. There's 40 seconds to go at the moment. The bomb will be picked up, but... This has actually been a good pause here from QBF, because now Na'Vi is starting to doubt. Maybe they're trying to sell them a fake again. What's crazy is if Flamey checks around the corner of the ramp and sees nobody's there, he may go back. They may send more people towards the bomb site, but the bomb is soon on the way, and all the T's making plays are quite telling. Flamey is invincible. 26 for 3. This is round 11. He's finally died. But maybe he'll rise again. I don't know. Jimka's alone. 1 versus 3 as the clock ticks down. Now they don't want to engage him anymore, but he will be chased. Three, two, one, zero. Oh, at least he just about dies in time. One second on the clock. Navi are playing with them. It's a dog with a chewy toy, Dan. There's saliva all over the place. This, this is just outrageous stuff from Flamey. He is looking so sharp at the moment. Look at those kills. It's like he is just playing against Bots just playing, you know, pistol yeah. deathmatch or, well, he's using a rifle, so that'd be kind of OP, but he is OP at the moment, he's killing everyone. We haven't even mentioned that uh, the crowd, whether they cheer for QB fire or don't, they might be a factor, because this team have come from nowhere, they've come from relative obscurity, and now they're in the middle of Boston, in the middle of a stage with fans surrounding them from every direction, and that's, that's, that's significant pressure, and they may feel afraid to run their own game. Flamey's been given the AWP. He's got new toys to play with. Christmas has come again for Flamey. Maybe his teammates will just leave the site and let him go on his own. Oh my God. They've taken down Flamey and now they must face Simple. But there's only one person left. They're facing the Gatling gun. The one man Gatling gun of Flamey. James, I think Flamey's the juggernaut. I think Flamey is the juggernaut right now. This is unbelievable. He's not leaving any kills for his teammates. He saw, Ed, he saw Oscar's stats on, uh, I think it was Cash, and he's like, okay, all right, I got you, I got you. Frag 28, frag 29. Oh my God. He's looking to break some records. All right then, 11 to one. Flamey on the cusp of the 30 bomb, looking to average two kills around. Well, Pistols again for, corner, for QB fire. Where is Flamey? The last, the only man on the A bomb site. He is the sentry. He's a turret. Uh, he is going to be out of the picture in this round, though. Zeus Electronic, they get to have some frags, perhaps, as the entire team of QB fire is spotted. Behind the fire, the flashes go in, the grenades continue to rain forwards, as there's no way to get out the apartments. Only one is out. It's Boomich, he does get himself a quick kill with the T250, but how much else can he do? Well, apparently there is more left, there's more gas in the tank. Electronic, though, with the 2K, was hiding there all along. Now Waterfalls is left with no Kevlar, a mid T250, and against Fame in 1v1. That's not very fair. Surprise! And we have it, 30 bomb. Absolutely unbelievable. In 13 rounds, he has 30 frags.
What do you even say about this guy right now, James? He's, he's just taking oh, over the game. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Flamey is all the way in. Operation, stay away from Flamey. Oh, but then there's Simple. If it's trouble you seek, it is simple you will find. Shutting players down in the middle area, and he cannot be he cannot be stopped. And here is Flamey again. Here is Flamey again. Two players left. The bombs top mid. I don't know if there's been any point where QB Fire has been able to make a play other than the pistol round. That was their time to shine. This is crazy. I mean, Flamey is surely on the on the road to breaking some records here. This is unbelievable. unbelievable. They just broke the record. The record is broken. That is unbelievable. I can't believe how well he's playing at the moment. I hope he can carry this performance forwards. Has been uh, pretty consistent throughout the last couple of weeks as well. But let's not uh, count QB Fire out of this round here. Jim Cut and Waterfalls. They have control of mid. If Waterfalls can get a pick here, that would be pretty huge. They have some time, but there is, of course, Edward in and around the smoke. Jim Cut will get the trade there, but Flamey is back in the action playing connector. And again, you know, if you want, if, if you want a player. If there's one player in your CT setup that you want to be hot, it is the player on connector because it's one of the biggest fragging positions on the map from the CT side. It's one of the positions where you have to make the most decisions. So it's very pivotal. You have your best or one of your best players in that spot. 32 for five. We're running out of space for the ADR scale. So maybe it's just flamey cam at this point. They will send two people on a campaign. Cannon fodder, perhaps. Flamey just searching for frags everywhere. Literally has nothing to lose at this point. Just go and seek kills. Seek and destroy, Flamey. So he's keeping an eye on things towards B bomb site, spotting one player, but that player will scurry away back through the smoke, and Flamey lurks. He waits, seeking his prey. Perhaps Kavik will be the first sacrifice. Flamey is a thirsty god. Got it, got his naps description. Valina though, straight in there. He's got a good position. Electronic taken down as well. Chances here now for Quantum Bellator Fire in A4 versus 3. I'm not sure if that's even happened in this half just yet. In the buys versus the buys. And they've got a minute to play with as well. This is actually very promising for them. Beamish in position by Palace. Na'Vi at the moment, they only have one player spotting into A, but it is simple, and he does have an AWP as well as some grenades. So this will be quite difficult. He has not had too much action just yet, so simple is going to be very ready for this one. It's time on the clock for QB fire. They've got time. Is there a cover for CT, though? Surely it's Kavik. No one's actually... OK, jimka has got a tight angle, but that is a very desperate one. He managed to get the bomb down, and maybe Kvik will be uh, important going forward. Maybe flanking a player in mid. Simple seeking something. Will this be a second round for QB fire? Kvik manages to pick off Zeus despite being low health. There's a deagle, but misses a shot. Now it's down to Edward, one versus four. It's the last round after all in the first half. And QB fire looked good for a second round, a desperate second round. Wow. 13 to 2. That is quite the scoreline, but it was quite the performance from Flamey. And you wonder, you know, if he was having an off day, what would have happened? Would it have been simple that stepped up? He looked ready at multiple chances, but it's all been about Flamey here on this stage. Quantum Bellator Fire have a lot of work to do to get back into this one. Sell out. Hashtag sell out. Take your screenshots. Right then. You would almost think that. Na'Vi were on the T side, but no, now it's their turn to be the aggressors. But we will have a few seconds before this match resumes. QB Fire need to stay composed, keep their focus. Yes, the chips are down, but we've still got some chips. Pistol round will be very key. There is Flamey with absolutely absurd statistics. 32 for six, breaking the world record for kills in one half. There was World well, Edit with 31, but now Flamey saying, what is up now? One of his ex-teammates, actually, I think. If anyone remembers, was it that team, I think, that Blade used to run? I think Bonnick was in that team as well. But uh, great to see Flamey, a player that has had his ups and downs, having a great tournament so far at this major. And this is, this is quite the predicament, isn't it? I think we definitely did see Quantum Bellator Fire having some confidence issues here or there in that last half. I think Na'Vi, they were overwhelming. They were very scary. 
especially of all the pressure they put in straight away at middle with that big bank that they were running with the four acres that they were running it was it couldn't really have been more ideal for Navi but into the second half QB fire they need this pistol so desperately QB fire have three people stacked in the A site which is going to be important because Navi have five two smokes going down and a lot of flashbangs Carefully selected angles, and here they come, trying to play the numbers game. So far, so good for QB Fire. Two kills for him, no answer yet from Na'Vi. Zeus down as well, Flamey and Simple remain. Can they get anything out of this, Flamey? Only the one kill this time. Simple versus four. He's got a P250 at least, so he's got some extra range for these headshots. One versus three now for Simple. One kill in this round so far. Looking for a re-peak, but they can just wait for him to come out of the palace and double or triple peek him, and surely it should be too much to ask, but Simple's the more experienced player. Can he get QB to make a mistake? You see the repeats, just making sure Simple's still there, but that might cost him his life. There is a P coming out. QB fire. Win both pistol rounds, but how far can it take them? And it was something, you know, that was commented on the desk by Sean. Obviously, he did the analysis <laughs> of how QB fire play their rotations on CT train. And so obviously that is something that we also know is you know, when we've seen them playing the likes of Inferno. They're also very good at this. So this is when we would start to see them maybe entering somewhat of a comfort zone as far as their game plan is concerned. But the, you know, the, the issue is that you know, how, you know, how are their confidence levels at the moment? Will they be making the plays that they should? Let's see if they can convert against the Deagles. Five Deagles in the hands of the likes of Flamey, Simple, Edwin, Electronic. So it's very, very scary prospects. And Na'Vi will be playing for these picks looking to whittle down QB Fire, or even if they lose the round, to make it hurt for QB Fire. Zeus with the Honey Badger Deagle. Not really finding anything. Image has made his way to top mid. Oh, okay, goodbye Zeus. Thanks for coming. Image, not afraid to be aggressive. And this is a great sign, oh dear, okay. <laughs> Maybe we'll talk about it later. Let's see if these uh, Deagles can do more. Simple's taken down. The bomb is in no man's land, so a plant is unlikely for Na'Vi. Waterfalls has to keep his cool here. Down to 16 HP now. Backing off, but Boomich will take his place and finish off the job. Now the bomb's collected by Electronic. Spotted and swatted. But I was going to say, QB Fire are not afraid to play their game. They've got cool heads. They've got very active uh, CT sides. I think Boomich was just raising his arms there for the crowd, so they're not afraid of the atmosphere, of the environment. But now the AKs are coming. Yes, Flamey is coming, James. <laughs> He's going in with that AK-47. We can't imagine anything else. It's going to be very interesting to see the style Navi play here. We can expect them to not go super hard on the mid-takes. That's generally not what we've seen from their Mirage recently. And you can see that mid is abandoned. The early timings, Flamey, though, finds himself for the first pick. On to Valina, challenging at pit. And that is going to be a regrettable scenario for him. Flamey swaps off the AK. Now that he's so low, but he's done his job. Zeus also creating presence towards the B side of the map here. The Quantum Bellator Fire, they have a good vision across the map. They've got players in middle and playing retake on A as well. So their setup generally is very, very good to deal with more or less anything and get the information to make the calls. One minute ten, and the smokes have dissipated from the B bomb site. Now Navi will play the numbers game, expecting more CTs elsewhere because of the forward position that they presumably have. Zeus running wide. Even if Zeus went down, his teammate would have had a good chance of trading there because he ran wide. And now Quick is on the site. Sorry, Quick is on the site versus three CTs, but he can't get the kill. Flamey just waiting with the CZ. And now leaving Waterfalls alone with the scout. Can he find anything? Have they detected him just yet? He is being surrounded, and Simple will do the job. QB Fire lose an early round in the second half, 14 to 4. Yeah, Flamey again just doing so much impact work there, obviously getting the first kill, giving the AK away to a teammate because he was low, and then taking like a very late lurk position. And right now, Na'Vi just going from strength to strength. The confidence is high. They're really feeling their game at the moment, and again, Quantum Bellator Fire, they could not really afford to lose a round like that. Now they have... M4s, Velina stuck on a CZ, it's not ideal. 
Usually you would see aggression to mitigate this disadvantage. That's what we're going to see there. Deep flash for Boomish. Can he get something done? There's one. There's number two and the bomb. Beautiful there for QB5. Lots to work with. And also taking down the support from underpass. Not many options here, but Flamey's definitely always going to be one. Oh, he gets two. Of course he does. Down to 40 HP. Simple has uh, almost regained the bomb. Has he heard the person in apps? He looked for someone. Not sure if he saw them. It's an off angle and Boomich will get taken down as well. And it's just jump cut. We spoke about Flamey and Simple and they've brought it back. Match point for Na'Vi. And you can't see it going any other way at this point. It's insane when you see players like Flamey and Simple in that position because the numbers advantage, the position advantage, the information, everything was with uh, Quantum Bellator Fire in that situation. But Simple and Flamey, they just said no. They simply said no. You're not going to take this round. We decided that we're going to win this one, and you will promptly die. Flamey up to 37 kills now. Collecting an AK, dropping an M4 for a teammate. Maybe looking for entries on the A site. Can Flamey get to the 40 bomb? This may be the last round. QB fire on the force by some pistols, some smoke grenades, some bits and bobs. It is a less than ideal situation. You'll hear the flash being deployed, repositions, going to get aggressive. Flamey's ready for it. He's looking for it. He's hungry for it. Bumic, does he dare re-peek? Seeing the player on the ramp, it seems that QB Fire will, in fact, make an aggression towards the palace, expecting nobody to be there. And they're right. So now valina has got high ground position on Flamey, but will he expect this? That is a good question. Well, there you go. Waterfall's going to go down. Electronic picks it up in mid. Quick! Gets himself a fast one there, living up to his name. Can't get out, out of there in one piece, unfortunately, for him, though. Electronic with the trade. Pistols need to do a bit more here to get some advantages rolling in. Na'Vi, they have all the info. They've got the picks that they want. Now they can, if they want, go back for the bomb. But they're still taking some fights. Confident. Very confident. Nice oh, there. Good buy. But Flamey is ready. He is in absolutely just crazy form at the moment. His confidence is something else in this position. Boomich, though, 1v2 with a Deagle. Is he good for it? Ooh, that was a pretty clean snap, but doesn't land the shot. 16 to 4. Na'Vi and Flamey mostly. Very dominant performance, shutting down the newcomers. Quantum Bellator Fire in map one. 39 kills for Flamey. Give that man a round of applause, guys. Come on. Absolutely.